you, you use the term <clears throat> on your website that I was like, I gotta ask this brother about okay. angry optimism. Yeah. <laughs> What's angry optimism? Um, I mean, so so think about it like this. Um, I use so I use, I talked about the word optimism a lot. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times in in our society right now, you just see a lot of uh, folks. It's fake, right? You see a lot of just fake optimism. Everything's going to be okay. Everybody gets an A. You know, well done to everyone. But that's not really how things go. Mm -hmm. I'm an optimist in that when I look at our culture, I just see the potential for growth, right? Um, but a lot of times you can't necessarily just be optimistic and be a cheerleader for a problem. You got to take some attitude to it. You got to take a little bit of, uh, I don't know, you, you, it, there has to be emotion behind it. And just because it's optimistic doesn't mean it has to like look good and feel good. A lot of times when we bring up these topics, because I talk about things like, like getting communities out of poverty, mm -hmm. breaking the wealth gap. Um, I really don't do a lot of talking about racism because it's not something that's really, it's not, that's not big for me in terms of how I see us solving our own problems. Um, but, but you gotta, I don't know, I just think, I think there's a, a middle ground that we gotta live in where we're, where we're agitated enough to want change, but not so negative that we're not doing anything but sitting around complaining to each other. Yeah, you know, I, I think there's kind of like a, what I consider to be a healthy skepticism around motivational talk. Mm -hmm. um, because people who have real problems, you can't just be pumped up into a better life, right? You can't just yell at somebody and be like, you need to get after it and then, okay, that's gonna magically change my life. You have to give people real tools, you yes. know, like th that they can actually use. You gotta give them a new way of seeing things so that they mm -hmm. can be able to turn their life around. And I, I think that's one of the things that appeals to me about that concept. It looks like for you, it's not just about telling people, hey, you ought to be doing better. It's about saying, all right, I'm going to live out an example mm -hmm. of how somebody can do that. And I'm going I'm to give you some conceptual tools, some practical tools yep. that you can apply in your life. So that, that's the key, man. Um, I think you said it. You said it very clearly uh, by my example. OK, mm -hmm. um, I so so, you know, growing up uh, poor, um, really in poverty, I had I started like so I, I studied economics and, and I told you history a lot and I looked at my life and my wife and I were just talking about this morning on the way here like we we're driving through neighborhoods and I was asking myself I used to feel bad about not being able to afford that type of house right off the bat then I realized well that house really isn't that expensive and the only reason that I can't afford it today is because my grandfather and my father didn't pass something along to me to allow me to start in a position to where that you know, particular item or whatever it is was actually attainable. So for myself, recognizing that and not feeling bad for myself, I look around, right? And in the community, I'm like, well, on the real, there are so many people who are just as talented as I am, who have the same drive, but maybe not the situation or they haven't seen the example yet. And so to kind of circle back to your question, like for me, I got to live in a way that is literally, I mean, we talk about it. My wife was joking when we came in. It's like, it's about breaking chains, right? I got to break mine, not just to break them for me, but I got to do it in a way. And honestly, frankly, a thing I realized, I got to do it publicly enough so that other people see it and then can emulate it or at least bring this type of thinking, you know, just into their family, into their culture, into their homes. Man, I think that's one of those things that's so easy to ask, underestimate. Like when we think about our own dreams, we kind of approach it like, all right, this is about my fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And we just don't realize how many people out there who they're gonna get the permission to be their best self mm -hmm. from the life that we live. 